Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I wanted to bring you a tag video. I'm bringing you the behind the scenes tag, and this was created by Woody Novels, and I'll link her channel below and the original video below, and I was also tagged by her, so she's awesome. If you haven't watched her, I'm not sure what you're doing with your booktube live, but I recommend you check her out, so all of her information will be down below as well as the original video. So this tag is basically just about behind the scenes filming wise, so yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna actually just look at the questions because I kinda have to make this video fast, so yeah, sorry about that. But okay, question number one, where do you find inspiration for your videos? I find inspiration through other booktubers. For example, if they have a book haul or something and they have some amazing books, it inspires me to read more books so then I can put more content on my channel. And I also find inspiration in, you know, tag videos and stuff like that. So basically just booktube itself and books that I read. Question number two, do you have a Word document or a notebook dedicated to video ideas? And yes, I have a notepad, like a notes on my phone thing that I have, like I list some ideas in there. I also have some on sticky notes around my room and I have some ideas that I had jotted down in a journal that I keep, so I have them all over the place, but yes, I do keep them. Okay, question number three, how do you prep for a video? I prep for a video by basically doing nothing. I just wing it most of the time. <laughs> um, my camera's usually already set up, I just throw some makeup on and have my phone. That's it. Number four, how long does it take you to prepare for your appearance, prepare your appearance for a video? Not that long, usually like 10 minutes. I don't like putting on makeup, so the only reason why I do is because I make videos. That's the only reason why, and I used to not do it. Like, if you look at my old videos, you can tell I wear less makeup. I usually don't ever wear makeup, just mascara sometimes. I've been putting on mascara and eyeliner, so that takes me about 10, 5, 10 minutes. And my hair, just usually, whatever. I... Takes me like five seconds to put it in a bun. <laughs> Number five, what time of the day do you film? I film anywhere between 9 a.m. till like 3. Because it's starting to get dark out now, so 9 to 3 is usually the chunk of time that I use. Um, question number six, show slash tell us where you film. And I will put in a clip right now, and this is where I film. Don't be too hard on me, it's not very clean. <laughs> number seven, natural lighting or studio lighting? I use strictly natural light. I don't have any studio lights, so... I probably wouldn't use them even if I did. There's not enough room in front of my bookshelf, so just natural light. Number eight, what type of camera do you film with? I hate, I hate this question. It makes my soul just curl up and just squeeze and I just get so self-conscious. I film with a 5D Mark III, which is a huge, huge investment and it's a high-end camera and I do not recommend you pick it up if you are filming just for YouTube. I use it for photography, so that's why I have it. It's a full sensor camera. When I was upgrading my camera, I decided, do I want a full sensor? If so, then might as well get the best of the best while I can, so I did. That's the only reason why I have it. I only use it because my other camera that I was using stops filming at 12 minutes, and it doesn't have a flip viewfinder, so I can't tell when it's going to turn off or not. So that's very problematic because I talk a lot and I don't, I don't know when it's gonna stop filming, so I started filming with this one. But if you have just like your iPhone or any camera, literally any camera will do the job. I've seen some amazing videos on cameras that weren't not that good. So it's just personal, personal preference, but I have a Canon 5D Mark III. It just makes me just wince every time I say it out loud. Number nine, do you ever script your videos slash go off on an outline? No, I never script my videos. Obviously, you probably know that because I talk in circles a lot. I've tried to script my videos, doesn't work out. I, it, I get so self-conscious and like so monotoned, so I'm not very good at scripting. I don't usually have an outline either. If I have a review that I have certain points that I wanna say, I'll put them in a notepad, like a notes thing and I'll just make sure I bullet them all so that way I know I've talked about all the things I wanted to talk about but I never script. That's just personal preference. I've seen scripted videos and they're really awesome but I just feel like for me I'm just so robot. I'm just like, have you ever? Like, like I don't know what I'm saying. Like I didn't write it. Number 10. If you edit your videos, what program do you use? I use iMovie 11. That's the only program I've used ever. I totally don't know what I'm doing when I'm in Final Cut Pro or movie when Windows Movie Maker just iMovie 11 or I'm any iMovie I've been using iMovie for years and that's what I like to use number 11 how long are your unedited videos before you scale them down my videos usually range from like 12 to 20 minutes and I can scale them down from anywhere between 5 to 13 minutes so 
I talk a lot and I ramble and I cut a lot of useless crap out of my videos because I'll go off on a tangent. So usually my videos are pretty long but I can cut them down to a pretty good amount. I don't want to have my video over 20 minutes ever. I try to avoid that. Even like discussions, I'll cut sections of my discussions out that I feel like aren't super important but just things I've noticed in books because I don't feel like people want to watch a 20 minute video. I know I would but I just don't feel like other people would so to get people to watch my videos, like to discuss with me, I don't want to make a huge long video unless if I know I stick by everything, every single thing I say. So my longest video I think is like 18 minutes and that was a discussion and it's like one of my favorite discussions ever but number 12 how many times do you try to film per week I try to film twice a week at least sometimes three times a week and I film multiple videos at a time because it's just easier for me to have them on my computer and not have to worry about having to film throughout the week so if I get busy or anything like that I'm not missing any content sometimes I will film like, I'll film a whole bunch of videos throughout the week and pre-film them at the same time and then I will upload them in different orders just based on what I want to do. Like, I don't like to put reviews back to back. I like to have like a review and then a fun video and then, you know, I just kind of do it like that and stagger them. So sometimes my pre-filmed videos, you can't really tell they're pre-filmed, but a lot of, a lot of my videos are pre-filmed. And that's the next question. How often do you pre-film your videos? Every single time I film. I film at least two videos every single time just because it's easier for me and I like to have more content on my channel I like to have at least four videos a week and to do that I have to pre-film and I actually am curious what do you guys think about pre-filming do you like it like does it bother you if someone pre-films their videos I'm just super curious about it so let me know your thoughts about it number 14 how long will a typical typical video take from setting up your equipment to uploading that's the last question my videos take about like I said, for like a discussion video, I have to make sure my, my camera is charged. So I'll get, I'll charge my camera, then I'll get ready, and then I'll come back, put the thing in, make sure all my videos are erased off my memory card, start filming, and since I film a couple of videos at a time, then it takes me about, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes to film multiple videos, and then I will import them all into iMovie at one time, and then I'll edit them separately. So, for example, I'll just do one video. So it takes me about 15 minutes to film, then it'll take me about, mm, I don't know, 10-15 minutes to edit, and then I will export it, which takes a little while, like 20-30 to 30 minutes, and because I'm, I'm um, exporting a larger video file now. So it takes me a little while, and then to upload it onto YouTube takes me anywhere from 20 minutes till 2 hours, so it just depends on my internet connection. So yeah, that is the last question. I guess I'll tag I'll tag three booktubers that I know that are just starting out on booktube. We have uh, stacks of books. I'll tag her and Jack's Jack eats books. I'll tag him too because he's pretty new. And also I will tag Miss Okay Miss Shinu. Shin Shinuku. I'm pretty sure it's Miss Shinuku. Those are the three booktubers that I'm going to tag. They're pretty new at booktube, so I would like to see their thoughts on this. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, you know, I don't know. Just let me know anything. Let me know what you guys think about pre film videos for sure. I want to know. I want to know how you guys feel about it. So let me know about that and have a great day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I'm doing that every single time now. Let's just think of a new one. Peace. Is that stupid? Okay, that's pretty stupid. Let's do another one. Later, Gator. <laughs> no, that's stupid too. Okay, bye. <laughs> We're just going to go standard bye. 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 That's how I hang up the phone too. Okay.